post fight here at Next Generation Combat Four. Chris Hoekstra alongside my broadcast partner Malcolm Martin and crew Sam Nankani. Guys, it's been an amazing evening. We've seen some really interesting contests and stylistic clashes. Malcolm, a lot stood out. What an incredible night of action, but for me, when we talked earlier about the process and what Chris Sam was trying to do, what a performance tonight. We saw her do well, you and I, on the previous show. But this is another point to the lead. So, Chris, I want to ask you, this is what you're on about, isn't it? The way you're developing fighters. I mean, you must be so pleased with the way Aku went from the third season to this fourth season. Incredible. Yeah, definitely. I mean, what was our last show? Was it eight? Now, she's only had maybe three, three amateurs or so. I can't remember. She's had just a few amateurs. The girl that she's fought has had to fought without she Loads of MMA belts, kickboxing. I know she's got the European titles in kickboxing or whatever. And you know, when you look at the composure, uh, the fact that she was not phased about whatever this girl has to bring, and the showcase the style. And I've been through some classes where she's been working on teams of push kicks as well, and just worked to a team in terms of nullifying how the girls are going Very, very proud of that. Very, very proud. There was a couple of other standout fighters. I know Malp, when you and I were talking just after the event finished a moment ago, that really stood out. Coleman and Maine, to me, come to mind. Let's talk about the Coleman first. There was a lot of pressure on Jordan Smith tonight to come back after a number of losses and a very high profile loss in his recent fight. But as you heard in the post fight interview, he said it wasn't about anything that was inside me. It was my team, my training, my preparation. All family came together, and well, the results certainly delivered now. Well, for me, Jordan, as you said, you can say there's not pressure, but you've got to be giving you back. Four defeats in a row, your home crowd, and you're coming back. We saw the signals were tough before, but for me, it was the way Jordan handled that pressure. Used his reach, used his range, those devastating knees as the setter, then the cut. Chris Sam, you must be pleased with that because pressure is pressure, but the way he handled it, Chris, for me, was excellent. And Sam, what actually happened in the month? I mean, give us a little bit of a inside take of the history, if you will, because every fight has a story, and Jordan's to me is fascinating. I mean, what a story for Jordan. To be on a winning streak, 11 wins, and suddenly go from 11 to 4. I remember the last conversation we had was, I'm 4, I'm, 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 I've lost 4 in a row, what's going on? But one thing I have to give Jordan is, this guy is a worker. He will lose a fight on, on, on a Saturday, or Sunday, Monday, he's back in and trying to rectify what the problem is. Whether he has a broken rib, legs, he can't walk properly, he will come in, train, train and adjust with one leg until it heals. Uh, because he's, he's, he's always said it's true, whatever I have to do, whatever I have to do to fix my problems, to win. He, the guy wants to be at the top. And this is what I'm saying about our philosophy, or my philosophy. It's not just about the, the wins or the fights, it's about attitude in life. Because I'm developing this for changing characters, changing lives. How do you handle losses in life? Do you throw a tantrum? Do you quit? Or do you come, come back and place it head on? And this is what uh, no, I set up for you, not to even initiate great champions. It was just to change people's lives through Muay Thai and through a system. Uh, 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 but somehow we have ended up have to compete again. Does that make sense? But it's really about changing life. When I see this young man Gordon, how he was at the very beginning, when he came off the streets and his attitude and everything to how I'm not sure he is, I am so proud. That's what he's all about. That's what martial art really is. Amen. And now, you know, in the main event, we almost saw a flawless performance. We're talking about fighters coming out and putting everything out of the line. Literally, Wilfred Barrow's name is very incredible opponent in the main event of the UK. Well, for me, Wilfred Barrow should be called the UK. Regularly, and he's certainly been doing that. He's 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 been do
brother Fabulous as well. What are the things that he needed to do to put together that win tonight from your perspective? Well, um, well I don't want to give away too much of the secret ingredients, but uh, yeah, I've, been, I've kind of been working with the fighters on certain elements of uh, a lot more explosiveness, a lot more power. But one thing people need to realize, yeah, I don't think people are clicking on, right? The style that I developed was for myself, right? And it's very, very tactical in the sense that I don't like to fight unless I'm having to defend myself. Now, if you want to come and have a technical fight with my fighters, that's what we're looking for because we're testing our skills and the rest of it. If you then want to use aggression, if you then want to take it to us as if we're having a, a, a fight on the street, then you expose yourself to get hurt. The whole style is designed for you to get hurt the more you try to hurt us. So the more you behave, the more we're gonna play with you. The more you try to take us out, the more you're gonna get hurt, unless you know what you're doing. Simple as that. Well, the evidence was there. A, a gorgeous knockout win in the main event for Barros, and the sky's the limit for everybody, really, at this point, huh? Thank you very much. Thanks for all for, for coming to watch, and uh, hopefully we'll see you at the next NBC. So for Chris Hookstra, Malcolm Martin is always alongside me on the call. It's been a great night. Chris Sam, thank you so much for putting this one on, and we look forward to seeing everybody next time for Next Generation Combat 5. That's good night from London, ladies and gentlemen.